Okay, guys. Last night, yesterday, I got an update by Bitfinex that stated that they are releasing and making available BT1 tokens and BT2 tokens for speculating on which fork will gain the most traction and become the main consensus. So basically, they're allowing you to buy these coins before they exist or before they're released. Basically, almost like an ICO, this can help them to locate or find what the value of the coin is before it's released. Because whatever people are paying for it, it will determine the value of the coin once it's released. Now, Bitfinex is the first site to do that. And it has a lot of controversy. People are saying that they don't like how they're doing it because they're basically creating a new altcoin um, for the Segwit 2, which is not its own coin. It is a fork of the um, original Bitcoin, which basically they can't choose favorites. They can't say the old Bitcoin is going to be Bitcoin and the new Bitcoin is going to be Segway 2. That means they're picking the old Bitcoin over the new one. So people are, there's really no, no way to do that that is right. So Bitfinex is going through and, and I give them credit. They're very fast and very diligent when change happens. And they do release to their customers information and, and update them on what's going on. And keeping them in the loop is important to Bitfinex. And I do appreciate and I'm grateful for this. So um, they kind of did the same thing with Bitcoin Unlimited. They created the coin on uh, speculation that it was going to fork. And I'm not sure that one even happened. So... It's almost like creating a new coin themselves overnight, which I can see why people are mad at it. That's not the job of the market to do, but Bitfinex has done it before. They have given out the BFX coin um, in replace of them losing a lot of people's money. They replaced it with this coin they created overnight and said it had a certain amount of value. Well. People didn't want it and started selling it and the value dropped drastically. So they don't want this happening again. But this is a new update. This is a new uh, release from Bitfinex today, October the 6th. The last one was yesterday the 5th. Um, talking about the future segue. And now here's a new update. So I'll read this to you and um, I will summarize it at the end. I'll try to be quick because it is pretty long. But let's just focus on this for the video. It, it kind of affects all other markets because you see them following suit with, um, with whoever does something first and has a good way and solves the problems. It has a good way of doing it. Usually other people will follow suit. So this may be how things go on other markets too. Statement regarding upcoming, upcoming SegWit to hard fork. As the Bitcoin ecosystem approaches what appears to be an impending hard fork, it is important to clearly state Bitfinex's policies on hard forks. And I'm, I think they're saying a lot of this because I read some of the news that came out after yesterday. People were not liking it. People weren't liking the way they did it. So there's, the first part of this explains their position and then it goes on and to further explain the hard fork and what it means and there's lots of good information in here they do have experts on the uh, issue the big connect ecosystem approaches what appears to be an impending hard fork it is important to clearly see bitfinex's policies on hard forks first we want to make it clear that bitfinex does not intend to advocate for or against any particular hard fork miners have the prerogative to commit their hashing power to whatever projects they choose, including alternative and incompatible protocol implementations. However, our first obligation is to our customers 
who often demand tokens on each chain in the event of a hard fork that lacks clear community consensus. At this time, we do not believe that there is sufficient consensus to identify a clear winner in the SegWit 2 hard fork. According to our customers, accordingly, our customers will have access to tokens on both chains. We have a responsibility to foster, maintain, and support orderly markets that trade continuously 24-7-365. With a hard fork that lacks clear community consensus, we cannot suspend operations and wait for a winner to emerge. Leverage trading requires that our markets operate continuously. On operational requirements alone, we must designate such forks as new assets. As the proposed consensus protocol SegWay 2 project appears likely to activate, we have elected to designate the SegWay 2 fork as B2X. For now, the incumbent implementation based on the existing Bitcoin consensus protocol will continue to trade as BTC, even if the B2X chain has more hashing power. We are doing this for practical and operational reasons. Political considerations are irrelevant here. Basically, because it's a political game, which which one you like more, which one you support. Half of the ecosystem wants this new way, half of it wants the old way, and it's almost become political. And they're saying that they are not keeping Bitcoin one as BTC and and giving Bitcoin two SegWit. Uh, protocol B2X because they like BTC more and they believe BTC is more of a Bitcoin and more of the real Bitcoin. No, they're doing it because it had the name first and they're not going to go changing names. For the time being, BTC will continue to be labeled as Bitcoin and B2X will be labeled as B2X or Bitcoin Segway 2. This will remain the case unless and until such time that the market forces uh, suggest an alternative, more appropriate labeling scheme for one or both chains. The lack of strong two-way replay protection on SegWit 2 means that we must take steps to protect customer funds. At the moment of the fork, all deposits and withdrawals for both BTC and B2X will be halted until we are able to, one, Take our customers bitcoins to ensure withdrawals cannot be replayed on both chains and two ensure that we can properly credit the deposits in the event of a transaction is replayed on both chains basically double spent we expect this process to require at least 24 hours and potentially significantly longer if the event happens announcements will be made throughout the process to keep everyone up to date and, and then, then they, they go, go on, on to explain how <clears throat> if you're margin trading, how this will work. Because if you're holding BTC, you will get credited the same amount of B2X when it is created, when the fork happens. Because the past blocks are the same. They're just going forward um, differently. So the past blocks... Uh, and, and bitcoins you own are the same on both chains. They're just going forward on a different path. So what does this mean if you're lending out your bitcoin? Does the person you're lending to get those free B2X or do you get those free B2X? So this is what they go, out, um, go on to explain that if you are lending your bitcoin out, you will get credited that uh, that extra or new Bitcoin and they don't want people to stop lending because they're worried they will not get there um, and they will not double their Bitcoin which is a good point that you can double your Bitcoin uh, when this happens to so hold as much Bitcoin as possible and try not to be um, borrowing Bitcoin if you want Bitcoin, buy it because then you will get the double, um, the double funds. You'll get you'll get an extra coin. So if you have one Bitcoin, you'll have 
when this fork happens, one Bitcoin and one B2X, just like happened with Bitcoin Cash. This is Crypto Keith, and I'm out. Off to the markets.